Everybody, welcome back. It's uh, repentance number two. Don't don't even talk to me about the last episode, please. I'm I'm embarrassed. I I don't know uh, honestly what to say. You know, you should in time you will know what it feels like to lose something something Thanos something something. You'll be ashamed of your words and your deeds, uh, Hideo Kojima. You get the idea. Let, let's do an Eden run, shall we? I was thinking, you know, we could play Isaac. The the re rolls are nice, but Eden is a nice little. Uh, Divergence as well. FCN8 9A6Z. All right, let's see some new stuff, man. Uh, these guys, they're they're moving like crazy. How on earth am I supposed to understand how to deal with that? They, one, I, I did watch, and, and it's only been like an hour, uh, maybe even less than an hour since the last episode. I, I uh, watched a little bit of Dan streaming uh, the game, and a couple of things confirmed for me. You know, I know you might be like, spoilers, but I, I don't really see it like that. L let's take Wheel of Fortune. I think it's got a higher um, value for us long term here. Um, one of the things in particular... Oh, it's an XL floor again. Whoa! One of the things in particular, this is a very good segue, is uh, drastically increased shot speed and also, like, drastically decreased time in between some of the attack cycles for enemies, which is really, really... Excuse me, this item did not used to exist in the item room pool, I think. That's exciting. This is the kind of nerd stuff you can get very excited about if you've played way too much of this game to begin with. Um, enemies, not all of them, I think. This is what, yeah, We're putting the capstone on this. They attack faster, and their shots travel faster when they shoot. Which is uh, scary, for sure. That's, that's going to inhibit the muscle memory, without a doubt. Apart from that, I'm just hoping to maybe uh, <laughs> perform a little better this time than we did last time. A, I wouldn't say the only thing I'm really embarrassed by in the last episode is that Emperor play, but it, you know, mostly it's just kind of funny. I can't be super upset about it. It's it's just humorous at the end of the day. Great great damage there. Um, you know you're in a good spot when you're just taking random damage to the easiest enemies in the game. <clears throat> we'll, we'll see about that, okay? So here's what I, uh, they seem so much faster. I know you're like, they're the same speed. I promise you, they are not the same speed. This is, a, they, they look normal now, but for about five seconds, I was like, these guys are moving at, at the speed of light. So I'm going to be second guessing myself a lot. I got to learn to trust my gut, you know? I've played enough of this game. We don't even need to see the health bars to see the enemy health bars. Like, we played so much Afterbirth Plus, I just knew when enemies were going to die. Um, just, you know, in, in my head it had become baked in knowledge. Like, oh, these guys die in about, you know, four hits at seven damage or whatever. Um, weird flex, for sure. We definitely want that. I'm just trying to think. Because we, we want keys here. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? Drop Wheel of Fortune. Blow it up. I, I'm happy with the return. We got another Wheel of Fortune out of it. Um, in, in Magic the Gathering terms, we have gone infinite. This run is pretty bad right now. Goodbye, by the way, to my skull, but also the bomb did great work. Um, this run is pretty bad right now just from a stat standpoint, I think. Although it's very hard for me to understand how our tiers are right now. I feel like tiers count up instead of down now. Um... And I, I don't think we want this item. I, I just, I, I hate to say it, but I think we don't. Our damage, on the other hand, is 3.4, which is not horrible. The question becomes, do we take Technology 2? For those of you who are not in the loop, Technology 2, uh, it, it gives you infinite range beam shots that pierce enemies. It's a highly valuable item to get on paper, but the game isn't played on paper. It's played on... Maybe a, a, a wafer-thin, 32-inch curved gaming monitor. For his pleasure. Excuse me, you stole a charge from me? <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. Now I've, I've seen everything, man. Um, one bomb and we can get the Isaac flow chart started. Which we should be very concerned by because of the fact that... As soon as I started talking about the Isaac flow chart, that's where the last episode was set in motion for, like, you know, pure disaster, but... We're gonna try our best anyway, okay? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, on paper the game, or the, the item is great. Okay, this is extremely good. Uh, on paper the item is great. Unfortunately, the game ain't played on paper. 
and it comes with a like 33% damage reduction repeating of course which is not amazing um, okay there's plenty of bombs man that's plenty of bombs we need a key but that's plenty of bombs I'm starting to get a little bit more optimistic I'm starting to get uh, quite a bit optimistic. Would you look at that? Okay, 26 cents and a brand new sound. What do we need here? Uh, a key is a given. More HP. I've come to respect, especially with the, you know, enemy patterns being a little different. How is this open? Okay, well, uh, this is unfortunate. We're not going to be able to get a key. <laughs> Maybe on a second secret room. I'll tell you, like, I don't love any of these items. But I will credit card to get both of them, in the hopes that maybe um, they've been augmented a little bit. I guess King Baby has a certain usefulness for us as well. Uh, we have to take pills. We're, we're taking pills to see if we can get a bombs or key. By the way, if you haven't watched Isaac in a while, and you find yourself asking questions like why isn't he using his spacebar uh, item right now? He's got a bunch of battery charges. You should have been here for the required reading, okay? I'm not gonna... We've explained every uh, Afterbirth Plus item, every booster pack item 75 times to the best of my ability. You know, th those days are long since past. We're on new hotness now. You had your chance. I'm, I'm not deliberately being rude, you know? Okay, so the way the... <sighs> Book of the Dead only works if you kill enemies on a given room, so if there's no enemies to kill, there's no point in using the battery charge, okay? It, fine, but that's the last one. I am gonna take it. Do you have bombs or key, maybe? We're looking for bombs or key? Range down is, is completely meaningless. Yo, am I insane, or did Technology 2 not um, give us a damage downgrade there? It didn't give us a damage downgrade? Is this Technology 2? Is this technology one? You only need one key! Why did I think I needed two keys? Whatever, we're free. Okay. O other controversial play there is use the credit card. Instead of getting King Baby and Pokego, use the, uh... Use the credit card to snag, uh... Guppy's paw. I'm, a, I'm not a fan of that, honestly. Like, I'm not... Ooh, Eternal Flame. Like the bangles. Susanna Vega. I don't know why in my head that became Susanna Vega. Du, 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 du. Okay, I forgot about you. Now this, this is taking me back. I don't know what it does, but we destroy it nonetheless. It is, it, it is mankind's way. What was I talking about? I, I had, I had good discourse going for a little bit. Oh yeah, everything's going great, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't like the idea... Um, I forgot about the Bucket Boys. The Rusty Bucket Boys. Um, I don't like the idea of, of a, a static Guppy's Paw. I don't think King Baby and Pokego are really that incredible, but... but we take them regardless to, you know... I think it's more of a, a, a guaranteed yield than Guppy's Paw, which in all likelihood would have been worth very little for us. But, you know, that's, that's Isaac, baby. There's there's agrees and there's agree to disagrees. Okay, I gotta stop skipping those, but again, old habits die hard. Now this is a room that makes me wish I had stuck with uh, the Magician. <laughs> we We could have gotten some serious work done with the Magician here. I don't know if we can kill... Oh, we can totally kill that fly that was circling around us. This is going pretty well, honestly. I, I can't be upset about this. I know our HP is uh, not exactly where we want it, but we do have two red hearts because of our... Uh, that second secret room. I mean, we're, I think we're playing pretty well here. And this is not like a 10 out of 10 run so far. It's like a weird five. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, no. I can't believe I haven't been hit here. I don't, I don't even remember what you're supposed to do with these, uh, like, the fireflies. I just, I'm, I'm sending it, man. Okay, that looks like an HP upgrade to me. Supper. Are you a, are you a supper or a dinner, man? I used to eat supper as a kid, now I eat dinner. What's the difference? 
I have no idea, quite frankly. I, I feel like supper is um, what you eat at home if your parents um, really like lean into the uh, British Commonwealth aspects of Canada. I might be mistaken for the record. Dinner is like, I mean, I, I Americanized a lot of my dialogue as, as I've gotten older. As a, as a child, you know, as a teenager, I was very, you know, hey, can I have a pop? Let's eat supper. What's for supper, you know? As an adult, I've, I've Americanized uh, a lot of my dialogue so I don't get made fun of by Americans, you know? Now I'm like, hey, can I get a water? What's for dinner? Hey, can I get a soda? You know, it's it's a different world now. Um, I am disappointed because I don't have the ability to get to our item room. I, I thought maybe I could... Oh, no, okay, never mind. I thought maybe I could uh, get inside of our item room or our shop at some point, but th that, that train has sailed, obviously. We did get an amazing item, don't get me wrong. Lusty Blood is, is fantastic. Um, but we'll just find ourselves... Living in a shotgun shack and, and heading down to the, the mine shaft. Don't have a lot of HP. The mine's one. So, they, initial thoughts, admittedly, it's only a sample size of two, okay? Alright, good to know. Um, so, it's probably a little too early to be saying stuff like this. But to me, it seems like hard mode. They have drastically, um, again altered the drop rate of consumables. We had the same problem on our last run. You know, we, we had to get those flow charts going. It's not the reason we ended up losing at the end of the day, but still. Uh, we, one key, man. One key gets us into the library. If there's any time that I will not, like, apologize for, for taking... Oh, no, that's a trap! <laughs> For taking the uh, the easiest way through the run that we could possibly get is right when the game comes out, right? So please, for the love of God, these little batteries. I, Book of Secrets was not what I was looking for. Book Book of the Dead is actually better, for sure. I was really hoping to get like a Book of Revelations. Turns out, should have used our key to go to the shop. Okay, things are getting mighty spicy again. But this is the number one thing you could do here, just don't panic. And number two thing you could do is maybe get a second key so you can access some of these rooms that have some, some value. Very glad I did not go to the curse room earlier. Just just chill, you know? We're just hanging out. You, you gotta watch out, obviously, for the ember spiders. You gotta watch out for the ember spiders, is what I was saying. We actually have a really good run... ...in some ways. <laughs> that I will... that I will regale you with now. Um, namely, Lusty Blood is good. Actually, everything else is kind of terrible. I apologize for getting your hopes up. Alright, this is what we needed. Something along these lines. Uh, I, we don't know what the items are, but we will... ...absolutely be trying to take advantage of, of this. Please don't be cursed to the tower. Guppy's Collar? Alright, well, you're making me look like a fool. That's not the way you're supposed to go. <laughs> uh, maybe I can make myself look like a fool, you know? Uh, but you're making me look like a fool, because now the Guppy's Paw would have been a good play. But you know what? It is what it is. We're moving onwards here. A key? Oh my god. Now that we have uh, uh, the fuel necessary to actually get some... Uh, Improvements here. My optimism knows no bounds. Can't you tell from the tone of my voice? A lot of Curse of the Blinds, huh? Nine Volt is actually really good, and I'll, I'll take a Lark on the other one, although buying a key also seems useful for sure. Oh, dude, Blue Candle's a nice little damage upgrade. Book of the Dead is amazing, don't get me wrong. I, I honestly, I could be persuaded to tap fire this item just for the sound. If you hold it down, it's not that annoying. If you press it, it's it's highly annoying. <laughs> and that's honestly an energy that I can get down with. So here's... We, we got a new play, all right? Because... Um, because Lusty Blood gives you damage ups for every enemy you kill, we can use Blue Candle 
when our damage is pure garbage. Use that as a as a way, as an engine, if you will, to make our damage better. And look at this. We actually oh my god, he was not punished. We actually we're starting to build something here. I knew it could happen. I'm always a lefty in these situations. I gotta tell you. Um so Blue Candle's incredible. Book of Revelations is is a win, potentially. Uh it, it's even better. I wish that we could hold both of them, because we were I was getting really into that blue candle action there, but it is what it is. Um, what we're gonna do is is see what these little batteries do. I imagine it's like a partial charge. Yep, two rooms. I think that's interesting. With nine volt, it's still quite helpful. On top of that, we did that was our third book, so we do now have bookworm, which means we should be shooting a double tier occasionally. It's not a ton. It's not worth that much, but it's worth something. Very likely second secret room chance, and then. That's extremely good. The next thing we're gonna hope for is that Book of Revelation still works the same way on this floor, and we end up fighting a boss we're familiar with and then getting an orbital. That is not the case. Okay, I, I remember you, but I don't remember what you do. <laughs> but if we get a deal with the devil here, which as of right now stands at a, oh, we were so close to, a 13.4% chance. Um, Okay, just get ready to cross! <laughs> um, we can use those strength cards to really help ourselves out. Okay, so we want- yeah, 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 okay, I think, I think I've got it figured out to some extent. Now, is this beams? I mean, not beams, just new spiders. Um, I think maybe, like, in phase one, we can just get the boss to stand on the far side and then drag them over uh, slowly to the other side so that we have enough space to escape despite the fact this is a tough enemy, man. Um, we have enough space to escape before the attack ends, but or after the attack ends. You drop stuff from the sky, I do remember this. This is a touchy boss. I, I had a feeling there would be some brimstone coming here eventually. Saved. Brimstone incoming, okay. <laughs> Well, I'm very glad we had a lot of HP, or this this could have been quite the inauspicious end. But mission accomplished either way. And uh, this is why we will be focusing on uh, a, a defense item for now. But just for now. All right, the mines too. So I think that based on what I understand, which is admittedly and, and apparently very little, um, this is the right way for us to go to be... Maybe unlocking the other bonus character? I mean, here's my hunch, okay? It said beat F, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm assuming that that is a secret boss that's maybe on the the alternate path. It seems a pretty reasonable line of uh, suspicion to me, and, and let's hope we get there. Mostly I'm just stoked that we are not going to die um, 10 minutes in and undermine viewer confidence. Minimum, I'm telling you, we're living for 20 minutes. I don't know if we're gonna get much past that, but <laughs> 20 minutes, we're good. We're good for it right now. We really need a static damage upgrade. You know, I know you. You might be saying it's always easy to find a criticism, right? You might be saying, well, that's what Blue Candle was doing. You gotta try, right? Okay, I wish I had taken the HP. I remember red bombs. You pick up red bombs and throw them. Yes. I'll just buy the spirit heart to stay alive, man. Uh, we got a, a, it. It respawns. I don't know if that's on purpose, but I don't really want the pill to be honest. Um, it's always easy to look at an Isaac run and be like, you know, if this, it, if you needed that, then why did you uh, get rid of the thing that gives you the thing that you wanted? Well, it's because you know, you got like a Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you don't have any money, maybe you got three dollars and you're hungry. You eat a $3 meal. This metaphor is falling apart under its own ambition, but just work with me, okay? You eat a $3 meal. 12 hours later, you might be like, oh, I wish I had some money. People could, you know, get in your in your face and be like, well, that you should have thought of that before you spent $3 on lunch. Yeah, but I was hungry then, you know? We gotta, we gotta handle the base level uh, 
needs before we worry about the overarching stuff, you know, before we worry about that high level uh, fiduciary aspect. That's how I'm feeling right now, you know? Like, I, I, I love the damage. I'm a damage-oriented guy in this game. Um, but especially when we don't know what half the enemies do, we need some extra defense so we can actually accomplish uh, dodging. It's very valuable to me to... Or not dodging, but so we can be able to take the hits that are that are coming in. Which we're, we're pretty much going to get hit by inevitably to a certain rate anyway. Uh, repeating, of course. Uh, 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 make a fart noise, clown. Okay, and... There you go. Alright, we're back to the level of discourse that I like. No longer are we trying to put on airs about the, the level of strategy required in this game. <laughs> and, and it's for the best. It's for the best. Nope. Okay, you know what? You know what? You think you're really cool? That don't impress me much. So you're hard to dodge, but have you got the touch? Don't get me wrong, yeah, I think you're alright, but that won't keep me warm in the middle of the night, that don't impress me much. 76% chance of a deal with the devil. This is where it could all come together for us, please, please. What the heck is going on? The, the other thing is I have no idea how long a run lasts at this point. <laughs> uh, we're probably not going to need two strength cards, even if we get to deal with the devil. So we'll, we'll use the devil or the devil card itself for the damage upgrade. I remember it's Bomberman. Yep, just avoid the Bomberman bombs. Okay, you, you know what? You got me pretty good on that one. No denying that. All sorts of funky stuff going on here. We're gonna live, and we're, and I think we're gonna do okay as well. We're taking a lot of damage. Oh, don't ruin the deal with the devil chance, man. We, we got him! I thought we'd- I was gonna say, don't we need to give, like, spirit hearts to you or something? I, I gotta think about this for a sec. Obviously, we'll take the damage upgrade. Um, it's old Krampus? This is like what Flash Krampus used to look like. What, what a world, man. We're, they've taken us back to the past. We don't want it, unfortunately. Karma is a pretty good trinket. In fact, it might be very valuable for us at this point. We might as well at least pick it up. It's a three-room charge. My, my word. Okay, the problem is we, we absolutely cannot take it, but... Okay, it does take... It takes HP. Good to know. <laughs> We've opened the door, at least. All I can do is open the door. It's up to you to go through it. Or something. So don't step on spikes, okay? Let, let's see what's going on in this boss trap room. We have a rare opportunity to actually go into it. We have to take it. That's that's sick, man. Beautiful throw. Um, I'm still optimistic about this run, for the record. I think I remember this guy. Don't He can only be damaged by... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bombs open him up. I understand. I get the picture. Um, you might be saying, like, why, uh, no, <laughs> I choose not to fight you? You might be saying, why, why, uh, not take Krampus's head? Well, the, the honest answer for what I got is, uh... That I feel like defense is gonna be of, of much greater critical importance for us. Just because, again, we're, we're pretty much destined to take some damage. There's not a whole heck of a lot we can do about it. I mean, we could dodge, but this kind of ambitious early on here, right? Come on, man! <laughs> like, there's nowhere for me to stand! You dang jerk. I gotta try something, by the way. Okay, so in theory, you could. In theory, you could uh, take a red bomb if your speed was high enough and, and use it on a different room. That is something that, you know, it's a little minor, but it seems like it could have some, some implications at some point. Maybe you could use that to get a, a very close tinted rock that was previously inaccessible or something. We don't really want... Well, I don't know. We, may, we should probably pick things up because we don't fully know what they do, but... Alright, we, we, I've, I've built a run that I'm, I feel is respectable here. We even have a consumable surplus for the first time in my life. How exciting. Now we're going to Purple Town. 
It's the crypt. I, I vaguely remember this. We're fighting lots of ghosts down here. The mausoleum. That's what I mean. Playing repentance into the mausoleum. I'm just an Isaac expansion, and you're just a line in an Isaac expansion, and you're just a line in a song. You know, Fallout Boy. Okay, so we got you. Got to play good Isaac. Good Isaac means you don't take that charge key yet. Help! 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 I can't get out. Oh, what are you? I am you, but stronger. This is sick, actually. Yeah, please throw more skulls at me so I could possibly. Um, Thank you. So I could possibly get even more rewards. That's not a reward at all. Come on, man. So that's big. The gauze is nice. I mean, we, we don't need to be holding two strength cards from this point onwards. I'm just embarrassed that we haven't gotten anything out of them up to this point. This is good Isaac. And can I tell you something? It feels good to have to play good Isaac. It would also feel good if we received even a single damage up. <laughs> okay, okay, to, to be fair, to be fair, Blood Clot is a damage upgrade. I can't deny that. That was just bad dodging, straight up. But I meant like a good damage upgrade. This is pretty solid. I. We should really, like, not shy away from rooms like this. Um, because the more... The, the longer a room goes on, the easier it should be for us to, to tackle it because of Lusty Blood. Also, we're getting a bunch of charges, of course. But man, oh man. What the heck? Looks like Grandma the freaking thing. What am I doing there? They're just terrible. This is a terrible performance. Insubordinate and churlish. Really, like, my the whole methodology that I have right now is get as much HP as possible because we're going to lose a lot on every boss fight. <laughs> Especially, God forbid, if we fight a boss that doesn't spawn other enemies, like, get ready for, for Oblivion. And I'm not talking about uh, the Elder Scrolls IV, which is also called Oblivion. I'm not talking about that game. You know why? Because I've, like, never played it. Now that I'm doing a little bit better, or a lot bit better, not dying on a floor I've seen 70 times before, um, the, these, uh, the, yes, yeah, so I was just gonna say, you get like a pacifist aura when you're, when you're inside of those skulls, man. Um, I definitely am like, I can see the beauty of the DLC to a greater degree. I, bef last episode, I, it wasn't negative, but I was like, hey man, like, I still don't have any damage upgrades. What the heck, Edmund? You, you promised me every single run would have brimstone on it. What happened? I can't go into the cursed room, man. It's too, too spicy. Now I'm like, I get it now. Now that we've gotten a single great item in the form of Lusty Blood, I'm like, okay, now I'm, I'm committed. I'm going to try to help, or I'm going to try to win here. I have to say, you have to go... Oh, wait, am I a fool? I don't... Mysterious Liquid is really good. You know what? Let's, let's have some penance. Let's come into this room. Well worth it, obviously. <laughs> Mysterious Liquid is really good. There's an item I'm, I'm not in a position to really say no to right now. Uh, because the, the, the creep that it generates is a ton of damage. I forgot about the teleporters. Okay, I, okay, get me out of there. Thank you. Now I remember the teleporters. Oh, hello, long time no see. We're, we're probably not going to spend, or let's rephrase. We're probably not going to need that much more money. I did notice that we didn't get the double play out of this Demon Judgment. I would say that's probably working as intended now, so fair enough. That's funny. That I've gotten so used to that that originally, like, when I when I saw that... Ah, let's take it. Let's see what happens. Let's get wild. Um, I was slightly mad. I was like, how dare you nerf that? And then I was like, uh, you know, after two seconds of thought, I'm pretty sure that's... Not how it was meant to work, is that you could get double the plays for free. So, fair enough. Watch the world burn. I kind of remember... No, I don't. Let's... Don't lie to the people. I thought that I kind of remembered what that did, but I think that I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, so we, we got a great synergy going here. 
The, the creep is letting us kill enemies a lot faster. By killing enemies a lot faster, we're taking a lot less damage. We're, we're sneaking through these rooms a little more safely. I, I think we got some, some real positive benefits coming, coming to pass right now. I, I have memories of fighting this boss. I don't remember really what he does. So we'll, we'll be dodging at runtime. Okay, you're making a bunch of fires. And, oh, okay, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you connect the dots in order. And then these, I was just gonna say, they have to shoot out at, at cardinal directions or something similar. Cool bosses so far, for sure. Okay, then I was just, I knew it, I knew it. He comes through from the side. That one hurt. This is why we need to stack up that HP as much as possible. My god, the, the man has mastered the game. <laughs> He's Biden. He's just going around Biden. I should have been hit there, but was not, so thank you. Come on, man. He's dead. He's dead. All right. Great. A static damage upgrade is super useful. We'll head down to the next floor. Am I slightly frightened? Yeah. Mausoleum 2. All we can do... Uh-oh. <laughs> is every single floor... We stack up as many spirit hearts as possible, knowing full well uh, we're going to lose them on the boss. Thank you! Thank you, Viz. If we, if we continue with that, I don't want to have the expectation for myself that I'm not going to take damage. We're going to take damage. It's the way of the world. This is pretty good. It's definitely worth the leverage here. No, the Demon Judgment, this is our friend. Not Demon Judgment, sorry. Vis, this is our friend. I just realized now we don't have the bombs necessary to actually get over there. But that's okay. Vis, Vis, please. Vis is a, a, a living legend. This is incredible. We do have some red hearts back here. But I, I kind of, I wanted to get into the demon, or the, the boss trap room, but now I realize we can't do that with spirit hearts anymore. Okay, keep moving on. Here we go. I, I, we got some momentum, man. So what I, w what I was worried about is that we would never... Or it would... Oh, that hurt. It would take us a long time until we got to the point where we had a run where we were, you know, seeing some new-ish stuff. And yeah, I understand this is like, you know, stuff that was also in Anti-Birth, but you know what I mean. Like, implemented within the base level game. Now, we're, we're kind of... We're cruising. Uh, uh, cruising is not the right way to describe it. We're we're doing better. That's the right way to describe it. We're not at an imminent risk of immediate death. Shop, very useful. This should be our last shop, if my math is correct. Looking for... <laughs> Spirit hearts, battery charges, damage upgrades, like... Um, okay, well, Spirit hearts. We don't want sharp plug. is is too dangerous, um, and it. I mean, it just pays out as a net negative right now. I don't know what that thing does. It has. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Darn shorty. Okay, how interesting. Um, we're gonna just keep it moving for now. You know, I, I got to get out of the. We played a lot of Afterbirth Plus on autopilot, where you just went. You know, oh, this runs in the bag. Ooh, that was close. Like, let's not even worry about playing the game properly. Because, you know, we... Experience uh, made it so we didn't necessarily have to do everything right. In this, I think we could do everything right and still lose pretty easily by just, uh, you know, encountering some situations we're unfamiliar with. So I, I really feel like there's a high incentive for us to do things properly, if you will. You need to die first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're doing pretty well. We're starting to get, we're starting to get there. I know I've said it 20 times, but it's the honest to goodness truth. Nope, don't hit me. You didn't hit me. You stink. I can't stress enough. Mysterious liquid was like a it it, it changed the run for us completely. Dude, I got to tell you metal plate is really good. <laughs> I hate to be a coward. <laughs> But like, oh, that, that was just bad. Metal plate is, is legit. I, 
I, I love the idea of, of you could take an item. I'm going, man. That you know what it is, or you could just take a lark on a totally random one. That's that's a really cool idea. And actually, I think that having more choice on item rooms is, is a really positive thing to begin with. Because part of the... And now we're getting a little too big for our britches. Getting a little too analytical, but... Get it? Let's go. I'm a, I'm a genius. I'm an idiot. But uh, one of the things that came up all the time in Afterbirth Plus is like, you know, your item room for like six floors in a row was just no good. Alright, revenge. It did take us 30 minutes to get to mom, which is a little higher than usual, but... <laughs> Uh-oh. That's new. But now, at least, ha like, you can just... Oh, you, you can kind of just run the statistics on it, right? Like, if you get a bad item as your item... I can't believe I didn't get hit by the, the crossfire there. Um, but you also get a question mark that's random. Well, there you go. Now you're like, you know, you have a chance to get something that's actually useful instead. What, what do you need? Bomb? No, you know what you need? I think you need, there's like a special thing you can get on these floors, right? There's, you can get like two parts of a key or something, if, if anti-birth is to be remembered. You can get two parts of a key and then when you do that, you can open that door maybe? Man, they, they're not joking with Curse of Darkness, huh? But I'll be honest, now that we're on the womb, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that the womb will be easier than the mausoleum. <laughs> Friendship necklace, gather round. You know what? I, I don't know what it does yet. But I'm uh, I'm excited to, to try out some new stuff. Can't just, like, we, we just had a lot of floors where we saw a lot of new enemies. Let's, uh... Experience tranquility. Let, let's let's start to experience some new items. Hopefully, I it it is very dark. We also I wonder if they changed Book of Revelations, or if it's just that Book of Revelations only gives you orbitals on the base floors. Like, it only makes you fight pestilence and, and war and famine, etc., etc., on the base floors. And in the alt floors, it, uh, you know, it can go its own way. It could call it another, another lonely day. Rumors? No, it's all true. Okay. Well, now that we've slipped back onto the basic track... I definitely feel more optimistic about our chances to succeed here. I definitely, and these are just first impressions, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much not an angry gamer. I can be a bit of a curmudgeon and I play video games, but I'm not like, who made this? You can just walk over it, you know, etc, etc. Um, however, this Curse of the Dark is going to... It's going to strike me as very annoying, I think. <laughs> Admittedly, sometimes a little annoyance is not bad as long as it's uh, annoying in a way that serves the game. You know, a game is not necessary. Well, it depends on the game, you know. Different games mean different things to different people. But uh, I would say that the purpose of a game is not to never frustrate you. I think that sometimes frustration can be... a uh, an element of a game that also has, you know, some higher-minded ide ideals at some point. <laughs> very funny. Very funny. Um, you know what? We're gambling. Maybe we can earn some spirit hearts. We do have 3.52 luck. You can tell because we actually have enough uh, bombs and keys to live our lives. Hey, 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 hey. I got a damage upgrade for something there. Oh, you know, because I shot a fly. That's right. Okay, I, I got I got excited there. I got ahead of myself. I hate to spend so much time here. Uh, we I don't even know if we have the dollar bill on this save file. That's hilarious. <laughs> I think we might have just unlocked something. New sound on the blood bank. New new blood bank sound just dropped. Okay, I, like let's be honest. I'm not gonna sit here forever. I will go down to half a heart. 
Take that. Oh, the permanent Polaroid invincibility, I can tell you. I can tell you. Seemed a lot shorter. Good to know. That's the, it's the kind of muscle memory that could really screw you up. This is really, I'm realizing now, this run has a lot of significance. Cause, and this is not meant to be braggadocious, because I don't, I don't really think we're doing that well. Um, the odds of us losing a run in Afterbirth Plus that had Book of Revelations was approximately 0%. You know, the, I had lost runs of the game, even recently. But not after having gotten, you know, one of the best defensive items in the game's history. So if we if we lose this run with Book of Revelations, I mean, that's a real sign at, at how much the difficulty of the game has improved. Or increased, at least. This is Scarred Womb 2. 2. Really? Did we do Scarred Womb 1? Or maybe because we did alt floors, it, it, it adjusts the... Yeah, we probably have done enough floors. Okay, I see. Because basement 1 probably... Why, why, am I, why am I here? Why did I come in here? I'm a fool? <laughs> I'm, I'm stupid? I'm dead? Dang, Curse of Darkness threw off my, my sat nav, man. Can you even... On, on YouTube, can you see anything right now? Like, or is it just like pure darkness? This, this might be one, you know, we might have to crank the gamma a little bit. But uh, I've been informed. Many people have given me advice about the game already. They said, NL, please don't crank the gamma yet. Like, some of the filters are not built for it. Okay. That, I'm not used to them spawning a little later. Hey, this, this is the real value of Guppy's uh, collar right here. So we're just chilling. We're just having a good time. Didn't know that there was another enemy here. Okay. I'm not dead. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. We're, we're going to lose. No, we're not going to lose. I've decided not to let that loser's mentality enter my brain. We're going to win easily. We're going to get a 100% chance of a deal with the devil. <laughs> uh, it's going to be mom's knife. <laughs> I got to think about this. I don't, look. This is a complicated, multifaceted decision, okay? No matter what, I mean, you don't lose by taking duality. Then you take one of the other two items. Not that duality does anything. Oh, you cost spirit hearts now? Interesting. Very interesting. Can I even afford it then? No. All right, you know what? You got me. You got me, you son of a gun. You got me. I thought I was being clever. All right, so dynamically adjusting deal with the devil prices. Very good to know. So you, instead of trying to min-max, maybe prioritize what you want first. So really, you know how I said I wasn't owned? It turns out I've been highly owned. Because we paid 1 HP for duality, an item that does nothing for us. Very humorous. Delightful. Amazing. Nice shot. But we're still alive for the time being. I'm trying to avoid the comedic timing on that. Uh, I don't know what you do. You're just brimstone? Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm alive! I'm dead. I'm alive. Okay, um, I hate that turret. That could cause us some real problems. Don't telefrag me. I'll be so mad, dude. Okay, you guys have got to go. We're just chilling. We're walking backwards. Walking backwards. Very effective strat in this game. We get a double charge? We do get a double charge. <laughs> Forgot about the enhanced shot speed <laughs> of the enemies. All right. So we're... We're living again. What do you mean I don't have full HP? Oh, no, I should. I don't know what's going. Whatever, dude. It, it's very simple, okay? Just don't get hit. All right, I'm dead. You got me. 
Um, we, we made some mistakes on this run, but honestly, this is indicative of the increased difficulty of the game as well. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, two things. Click the like button. Well, three things. Subscribe, of course. We play a lot of Isaac here, and I hope you enjoy the vibe we got. And watch me on Twitch. If you're like, there's not enough Isaac, I promise you there is. It's just twitch.tv slash northern lion, then it takes a couple of days for the VODs to percolate over. Give me a follow. Watch some Isaac. We have a lot of fun over there. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you with another episode uh, shortly. See ya!